Okay, today we're going to talk about the inspect tools. So we're going to create a new part. Create. Make something simple. We'll go and make a rectangle. One tab one enter. So a one by one rectangle square. We're going to go ahead and put a polygon inside of it. So we now have a hexagon inside of it. All right. So if we want to come over here and inspect some of the attributes of it. So you notice the first thing you have is a distance. So I didn't put a dimension on that. So we can click on there. That's 0.273 inches. Um, if you click on this over here, it'll tell us the dimension in between the two. So that's 0.473 inches. And you can do various aspects of that. With respect to angle, you can come up with the angle between two different lines. So that's a 120 degree angle. So we go there to there, get a 90 degree angle, etc. Loop. You want to calculate how long a loop is. So if we calculate that, that's 1.638. If we divide that by 6, that should equal 0.273 in my calculator. We're going to verify that with a distance here, 0.273. So what that does is that, that loop gives us the dimension of the lengths of these. If I run that loop on the outer edge, I should hopefully get 4 inches. Okay. So now we have area. So what's the area? This is a 1 square inch uh, because it was a 1 by 1. If we click on here, we'll get the area of this, which is 0.194 square inches. Um, region properties. If you want to get the area around something, like let's say we just want this outer area, the area in between uh, encapsulated by the uh, square, but excluding the hexagon. So we can click on that. Click calculate, and that comes out to 0 0.806. Uh, so if we had calculated before, we had one inch. Um, our area of this was 0.194, so 1 inch minus 0.194 would have been that 0.806. So it gives us just the area around out here in terms of the regional properties. All right, that's the way you use some of the various inspect tools. Uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.